Eduardo Castillo came into the art scene as a very pioneering artist in the late 70s and he was actually the very first sculptor right after uh, Guillermo Tolentino and Napoleon Abueva that radically changed the way Philippine contemporary sculpture and art uh, was viewed. Uh, he came into the scene as an avant-garde and um, really brought material and innovation and the new sense of creating public legacy art monuments and the legacy exhibition of Eduardo Castrillo at his supposedly 50th year anniversary celebration was supposed to be able to highlight what he has left behind not only in his pioneering spirit and his works but also in the material the ma management of scale where he has done everything from jewelry to large monuments the material use of brass uh, he's done wood brass aluminum all the metals including plexiglass and at the same time to really be able to highlight what he has left behind sculptures of eduardo castillo and his monuments really stand for times and places of our history, as well as presenting the racial pride of our people to be able to highlight the best of who we are as a race. When you look around the country, public art equals Eduardo Castrillo. He has the most monuments to date in our country. This is literally from the north to south. What is special about it is he really began giving public art to the masses by contributing his artistic uh, design for free and that the commissioners in the various regions would only pay for the material and the labor. Culture Connect is Samsung's advocacy program for ensuring that our country's deep history, our rich heritage, our very diverse culture continue to flourish. So we work with uh, various institutions who have the same advocacy as us and we try to help each other achieve this goal and we put our technology at the service of this advocacy. Samsung as a technology leader has a great role to play in ensuring that our heritage, our history and our culture is not, not only preserved but appreciated by all generations, especially young Filipinos. And Samsung's role is to help put its technology to creative use to achieve this. Technology helps bring um, arts and uh, culture into a, a more immediate area, more immediate space for young Filipinos. It makes art, it makes um, culture come alive, it makes it more engaging, it makes it more interesting and therefore it helps preserve that for our young Filipinos. Dad, uh, he's a very prolific and multi-talented artist. Actually, he works with different mediums when he started out. Basically, he's very in touch from where he started from, where he grew up and everything. And all of these life experiences were applied to his works. He started uh, the constructivism method, wherein he would create artworks directly from metal. He would make his own patterns, and then from then, little by little, he would uh, weld everything together and come up with forms. And um, in terms of uh, culture, of course, for instance, the heritage of Cebu, uh, well, it depicts the Christianization of the Philippines also. And of course, uh, the People Power Monument, depicting the special event that happened in our country. He's, he's very, very down to earth. Yeah. And uh, the truth is, he really knows where he came from. Every piece that he would do, he would give it his all, all his all being. He loves cockfighting. So one day I was with him and um, the truth is he came up with the concept of the People Power Monument while we were at the Sabongan, while we were watching a cockfight. He started doing sketches already and then he came out with the People Power Monument. Whenever I'm doing a big commission or big artwork, particularly in the Philippines, I put my artistry aside and I deal more and I feel more as a social being. A social being that has a responsibility of uh, educating or orienting, orienting the great number of people. 
because primarily I think that's the thing that we lack around here. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again in our next episode of Archives Unveiled, the Yuchenko Museum Online.